You have got to be kidding me. If I had a watch, it would say it's almost 4 p.m. And these lazy, lazy fish are still sleeping. I think it's about time you guys come in here and wake them up. Intro, hand transition. So I'm going to show you guys how I magically light up every single aquarium in the fish room with just the snap of these two fingers here. Starting with Hulk's tank. Three, two, one, snap. Check. Next tank. Next up, the 75 with the real Mac Ombi Fry. Three, two, one, snap. Two down. Next tank. 75 with the Gorilla's pair, you say? Three, two, one, snap. Next thing, not last, but certainly not least, the 150 with Spike and Spectra. One, two, three, snap. Check. Last stop, Azul and Blondie, right back there. You ready? No second. You ready? You ready? You ready for this? Three, two, one, snap. Let's get to today's vlog. Magic tank lighting, check. All right, now that these lazy fish are awake, now is the time where I welcome you to today's video, let you know that we got a bunch of fun stuff to talk about, a bunch of little bit of this, a little bit of that, a fish in the tank, me with the camera, other kinds of things, but uh, we're going to have some fun, welcome to today's vlog, if you're not subscribed yet, stay till the end, if you like the video, there's a button, it says subscribe, go ahead and click it, then you'll see the next video, but um, other than that, Let's just get to today's video and what the heck we got to talk about. So our last vlog, you know that our Specta bill is spawned. And if you didn't see it, just pause this video right now. Go check it out. I'll throw an annotation on the screen and a link in the description below. By the way, in all my descriptions, usually I throw a last video or random video. So at the end of the video, if you're bored, go check out another video. And uh, I'm not going to say waste your time, but go spend some other time doing other things. So let's talk about Specta bill is how the heck they're doing. This guy right here does not look too happy. Uh, that's the problem when you got cichlids and spawning is they get a little angry and if there's other fish in the thing, then you can have problems. But, um, so far, so good with the spawn. You guys really couldn't see much in, in our last vlog where I kind of tried to show you the eggs, so we're going to try and get a better shot. But, uh, you know, the main gist of updating you guys on them is that the egg looked to have been fertilized um, at a pretty high success rate. Uh, she's been doing a pretty good job taking care of them, especially uh, considering we've got some Gorillas Umbriferum in here. Working as a good distraction fish, that one especially. Um, I could take him out, but honestly, I'm just going to leave him in there because you know the pair does need something to distract their aggression from each other because there's a lot of hormones. Their first spawn. Last thing I want to do, you know, like I've said many times, is wake up in the morning and find a dead female. But um, you know, they're doing fantastic. Spike and Spectra have just you know picked up on this whole new thing of spawning. Just like they've been doing it for years, so I'm, I'm very excited that everything's going good, and um, hopefully we'll get some fry here in the next couple of days. They should should start hatching uh, today, ish or tomorrow, and uh, in the next couple of days after that they're going to be swimming. But uh, very excited, very excited. Things seem to be going well with them, and uh, let's move on to our next topic today. So I do feel a little bit guilty because we've been doing a little bit of DIY work in the fish room, and I really haven't been sharing it with you guys. Uh, sometimes you just get into a project and you just kind of just keep going and at the end of the project I'm like, you know what, I probably should have had a camera going the whole time, but we didn't, so we'll talk about it right now. So, you guys may notice our lights, uh, my cheap T8 lights, by the way, if you guys didn't know, I don't use like expensive light fixtures, these are $15 dual bulb T8 light fixtures you can get from uh, fantastic places like Walmart, Home Depot, cheapo stuff like that. Um, you don't have to use expensive lights. I'm gonna say that right now. So we painted them black just to make them look look nice. I like the cut. I like the color. Plus, um, what leads into the next DIY project that we were doing is we made some aquarium lids out of this stuff, which is like a corrugated poly something sheeting for like roofs of outdoor stuff. I don't know what that it's called. I forgot. I'm sure there's a label somewhere around here. Hold on. Nope. But um. I've been wanting to make lids on my aquariums for quite some time. The styrofoam was doing a good job. There it is over there. 
it was doing a good job. The problem with styrofoam is it's not see-through, so you have to have your light basically exposed to the tank or have a second lid, which seems a little redundant. Might as well just do one lid. So I wanted something that wasn't going to break the bank, of course, because um, you know DIY is all about saving money and um, doing things, you know, doing things yourself. But something that was going to separate my tank from my light, so that there would be a barrier between the two, so that moisture wasn't rising up. Because they are cheap fixtures. I'm not going to say they're super expensive, because you guys, I just said it. They're not cheap. They're not expensive. They're cheap. Um, and so what can happen a little bit of that is a little bit of rust. So. Um, that goes part of why I painted them, Get, got some rust only in paint, covered it up, so the rust is going to stop. Now i got a vapor barrier keeping that tank water away from my light, so that rust problem should stop, should help with evaporation on my tanks, having them fully sealed. And uh, I really like the material that I use, this stuff's awesome, super easy to deal with. Expect a DIY video on it one of these days, just making a DIY lid, super cheap, super easy. Um, flexible, it's not going to break or anything like super crazy. But uh, I think it really does a good job, and I like how it looks on the tanks. And uh, it definitely accomplishes what I was looking for in terms of changing up my lid system and doing it for a pretty inexpensive price. I, you know, I did every tank in here for about, about 40 bucks, which isn't too crazy bad. Oops, forgot my bracelet. Let's try the magic snap one more time. Snap! Haha, <laughs> there it is. Found it. Speaking of our awesome Cichlid Man 09, I have MTS bracelets. By the way, I want to thank everybody who's ordered one so far. You guys are awesome. Orders are all shipped out. They should be getting them. I know a couple people have already gotten them. Very, very cool. Very excited that you guys out there are uh, contributing. And uh, I love it. And there might be a new way to get said bracelets than we said in our video the other day, which kind of was a little bit of a complicated process. All right, so if you're new to my videos or not new to my videos, there is a new link in my descriptions. You might notice it. It says forcichlids.squarespace.com. What the heck is that? That is my new website. So speaking of our bracelets, you know, our complicated video that we posted the other day where I was like, go to PayPal, send me some money, this and that. The very confusing way to get bracelets. Now we basically have an online store where you just go in, order it, pay for it, boom, I send it to you. Very easy stuff. Uh, very excited. It's, of course, it's in, it's in its beginning stage. There's not a whole lot going on there. I've got some pictures, you know, like links to YouTube, links to Facebook. By the way, go over to the Facebook page, go like the page. But the main reason for getting it was so that, you know, if I do expand my merchandise, whatever, get anything else, we've got a place to put it on there and an easy way for you guys to get it instead of a big complicated this and this and this and this and this. No, it's easy. Go there, buy it, click, click, good, and I send it to you. And you can get some awesome stuff like our I Have MTS bracelets. Very excited about that. Go check out the website and um, go check out my pictures. If you didn't know, I do take some pictures every once in a while. A lot of people who follow me on Facebook know that I do. A lot of you guys don't follow me on Facebook. It's like a 10 to 1 subscribers to Facebook likes ratio. Um, so uh, go check it out. All right? And to kind of celebrate the opening of our website, what I'm going to have you guys do, if you want to go over and get a bracelet, use the coupon code HULK. For a dollar off on a bracelet, if you want to get one, go get one. From the time this video goes live till 11:59 p.m. on Sunday night, you can go get a bracelet. Dollar off coupon code Hulk, and uh, figured we'd celebrate a little bit on the website going up. And you guys have an online store to go to to get an awesome Sickleman 09 MGS bracelet. So in our last video, spectacular response. Since we're talking bracelets here, I threw down the gauntlet. I was like, you know what? You guys can get this video with 100 likes in 24 hours from when I upload it. We're going to give out a free bracelet. So today, at the end of today's video, we are going to select our winner. And I'm going to message you via YouTube. Hopefully, I can get your address and I can send you a free bracelet. Because not only did you guys hit 100 likes in 24 hours, the video's only been up a couple, a uh, few days. And we're at 129 on that like button. You guys absolutely killed it. Smash that like button. By the next morning, it was over 100 likes, which is freaking awesome. And, uh... You guys, you guys got me, so I gotta give out a free bracelet. So stay till the end. We'll pick our winner. Still get yet to find exactly how I want to pick our winner, but uh, I want to thank you guys so much for just smashing it, smashing that like. Button, 129 freaking times. You guys are awesome, and uh, let's give out a free bracelet, I guess. 
right, so there is one last thing that I gotta talk to you guys about before we'll just show you some fish, have some quiet time, relaxation time. Got a lot on my brain that I gotta get out of my brain. So, 4,000 subscribers is inching closer and closer, and I think it's about time we do a real contest. So, at 4,000 subs, we're gonna be doing basically my first ever Cichlid Man 09 actual contest. I still have yet to figure out exactly what the parameters of the contest are gonna be, but I can tell you right now, we already have a sponsor, um, and I will disclose that right now. Southern Life Fish Foods is gonna be our sponsor. Uh, we're gonna be giving away three prizes, possibly more, because I got bracelets, but um, I think it's about time. 4,000 subscribers is a huge monster deal to me. Um, one subscriber was a huge deal, two subscribers, and now the fact that we're closing in on 4,000, it's about time we give away something awesome to you guys who are freaking awesome. So, stay tuned for that. So after we hit 4,000 subscribers and I figure out exactly what the heck we're going to do and how we're going to do it, expect a Cichlid Malinine first time ever contest sponsored by Southern Delight, which I'm very excited for. And um, couldn't thank you guys enough because if it wasn't for you guys doing what you do, I say it all the time, it wouldn't make me love what I do so freaking much. And um, thanks. I really do appreciate it. 4,000 subscribers. Inching closer and closer, and um, I think that's about all I've really got to talk about. So let's finish today's video with a little bit of fish, a little bit of that, and uh, pick out our winner for our free MTS bracelet. Very exciting. Probably enough jibber jabber crap. Let's uh, give you a quick update on all the fish and get you guys the heck out of here because uh, it was pretty eventful update today. Lots of stuff going on. I'm probably overloading your brain with stuffs. So let's just run around the fish, check them out, see how they's doings, and um, get you guys the heck out of here. But wait, stay till the end if you want to see the winner. It could possibly be you. I'm an awesome NTS bracelet. If you already skipped ahead and you're missing what I'm saying right now, smart move. All right, let's start with Hulk. Let's check him out. He's looking amazing, as always. Still has his grumpy days where he's uh, he's a little mopey. But uh, he's been doing really good, really good. Lively, angry, his little buddy's doing awesome. Michelangelo, I believe that's what we call him. I don't remember. Amazing. Check out our little stud reel mags down here. This, this guy right here is our biggest. He's probably five inches. There's that little stud right here. They're looking fantastic, showing lots of coloration. Still don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with them, but uh, Gonna grow them out and see what happens. Let's go over to our gorillas who are actually out for us. They're hungry, so they're showing off. There's our pretty girl. Got her nice female coloration on. You can see they're moving a lot of gravel, which is good positive. Um, means they're moving stuff around. I don't know exactly what it means, but they're doing stuff. There's our male, gorgeous. Like I said in our last update, uh, I'm hoping what I can do with these guys is what I did with Spike and Spectre, where it's just patience, let them be divided for a while, and then, you know, eventually open the floodgates, and then the love can uh, commence. But you can see a little flirtation through the divider right there. They're just, ah, uh, these are going to be two beautiful fish. I don't care if they pair up or not. She's going to be one of those females that's uh, gorgeous enough to keep by herself. Not very often do you see females any species keep by, kept by themselves but uh, she might be one of those beautiful females that deserves a tank to herself another last shot of uh, Spike and Spectra doing their pair thing I feel so bad for that guy but you know they're doing their stuff eggs should be hatching here soon he's looking gorgeous 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 I could, I could not be happier with how that pair of fish has kind of just worked themselves out and fingers crossed and everything stays Smooth sailing. Now to Azul and Blondie, the beasts. She's looking fantastic, putting on some size. Having them divided means that she can eat by herself and get her own food, and he can kind of stay away from her. But he's, you know, he's doing Azuli, which means awesome. Probably gonna undivide him here in the next, in the coming months, just to see if we can get a. A legit spawn from them. They, they've spawned a couple times on that rock and on that rock back there with no success in the last month. But um, my main concern is 
them to just be happy and healthy living together and if keeping them divided is the way to do that then that's what we're going to do uh, last thing like I've said a million times is I don't want to wake up in the morning to a dead female it sucks it sucks 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 it's happened before and I don't like it just going to ballpark that this guy's probably approaching 15 inches uh, maybe four, maybe 14 14 and a half but he's getting close the sad thing is, is I don't get to find out for a long time how big he is unless I move him because I'm not taking him out of the tank or oh, nothing so it's just always just going to be a guesstimate and that's the fish segment of today's video the last clip here is going to be us picking our winner and uh, we'll be right back for that so let's pick our winner and get you guys the heck out of here for our free MTS bracelet, we're going to do basically the exact same thing we did last time. We got something. We gave something away. So, let's do it. So, we got my phone here. A nice piece of K1 calledness. We've got our YouTube comments nice and randomized as best that we can. So, basically what we're going to do is we're going to scroll and it's got to land directly on the channel name. And in the comment, it's got to say plaster or blaster. Because I think some people thought I said blaster, and we're still going to give those people a chance. So, and if it lands on your name, I'm going to send you a message, get all your information, and send you a bracelet. All right, let's get to it. All right, look at that. That's that's me. Wait a second. Am I there or am I here? I think the answer is both. All right, so we're going to start scrolling through comments, scrolling up, down, sideways. And stop. Oh, all the way at the bottom. We landed on your comment, but it doesn't say plaster. So we're going to keep going. And stop. Palm Sunday is not the right thing to say. Scrolling. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Stop. Oh. Pierce Hursley. Probably my favorite plaster comment that I saw on there. I saw that and I was like, I probably should pick him just because it's an awesome plaster comment. But Pierce Hursley and your plaster with a thousand exclamation points, you deserve it, so you want to expect an inbox message in your inbox. And that's going to complete our video today. If you're new and you're not subscribed, like I said earlier, click that subscribe button if you like the video. And if you like the video, you should have hit a thumb, the thumbs up. If you've got a comment, let me know down in the comments below. And my piece of advice for you guys today is if you're in a hurricane, don't wear a bikini because you might get impaled with a bicycle. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, very happy about the giveaway. Spike Inspector spawning. Got a contest coming up. Did a bunch of stuff. Having fun. Loving life. And we will see you guys next time. Catch you on the flippity flip and exit out.